Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Lisa Renee TV. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Make sure you do so today before you leave. Make sure to thumbs up the video if you do like what you see. And make sure to share, share, share on all your social media networks that you happen to be on at this time. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you decided to stop on by today. And I hope you do subscribe before you leave. All right, so with that being said, let's hop right into our video for today. So this is a topic that um, came to my mind the other day, and it's also a topic that came up in one of the Christian single groups that I'm in on Facebook, and I thought it was just really interesting. So I just want to discuss it for a few minutes. So Christian men being hesitant when it comes to pursuing us ladies. Okay, okay. So that's definitely a big thing. I don't know if any of you women have, um, you know, encountered that yourselves. If any of you men agree or disagree with me, <laughs> maybe you're looking at me now like, excuse me, you know, <laughs> what do you mean? I've been, I'm being hesitant. Well, you are okay. <laughs> and th this is what um, I've noticed in my own observation. And when the group brought it up, I just said, okay, I definitely want to discuss this. So it seems that even being and singles groups can't really save us. The men are moving slew-footed and sloughing towards being serious. And it seems they're finding every excuse to not pursue fabulous women who are right in front of them. It's like Adam jeering at Eve and saying to God, yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> and that's what it kind of feels like. They're just like rejection going on. I just want to know, where is this attitude coming from, gentlemen? Can you explain? You know, because Lisa would like to know, and a lot of other wonderful women would like to know, too. So, I was in the group yesterday, and I'm looking at the comments, and I'll actually read to you um, the comments so you kind of know how this got started here. Okay, so this was the beginning of her post. Let's try this again. Men, why are you single? The women in this particular group are amazing. I'm looking at their post interactions and love for God, and I'm lost as to why the men aren't being more persistent. In the first post, I noticed that the men are going around the question, although I was being extremely direct in my questioning. So again, I ask, men, what is stopping you from pursuing the women in this group? Should, would, could. Okay, so she went in, and I really... <laughs> I really am enjoying the fact that she went in on them because it needed to be said. So some of the men did respond. Um, one was saying, I'm observing. I'm not one to rush into things or inboxes or much for internet dating at all. Okay, true. Um, some people are not into online dating. Not knowing the group or people in the group, it can be a little different. I am paying attention. I've said from the beginning that I love the mentality, the diversity, and demeanor of the group. Hopefully a connection is made since I'm a rather private person. I'll announce my engagement in this group only. Okay, so I actually like that comment. Um, another guy, um, he was like really truthful about how he was feeling. He says, I initially joined this group out of curiosity. I wanted to see the similarities and differences in the journeys of other saved singles without children. I wanted to be in a like-minded environment, which I can learn, share, encourage, and be encouraged. Finding a mate here was not a part of the agenda. I never ruled out the possibility of meeting someone, discovering common interests, learning more about each other, building some foundation, and possibly pursuing a relationship if it presented itself. But that was never the motivation of joining more like a potential bonus if God chose to use this forum as a meeting point. Okay. So his comment, I respect that. Like, you know, he's saying, you know, this was not my intention. I didn't come here, you know, like on the prowl. I didn't come here saying this was the thing I wanted to do. I wanted to you know, I'm, I'm coming here to pursue women necessarily. I'm coming here to pursue God and, you know, chat with women. You know, I'm respecting them as my Christian counterpart. But at the same token, you know, I'm open, in a sense, to what God is going to do. So if God is going to bring me a mate, 
via this group, then I'm I'm with it, you know. So okay, <laughs> I, I wasn't I couldn't be too upset with him. Now here's my comment. <laughs> I said personally, I think the men need to start stepping up and pursuing us in this group. That's only if there's a genuine interest there. I think it's nonsensical to be in a singles group and still be unable to link up with like-minded souls. What's the point? We're the answer to our own issues. Not that singleness is bad. But if our goal is marriage, let's act like it and move forward together. Too much hesitation. Which the ladies agree with me. <laughs> of course, right? You know, I'm just putting it plainly. You know, I think that there are some men and women too, not to just beat up on men, but I think there are some men, some single men who they kind of like use their singleness as a crutch, so to speak. You know, it seems to me like they're too attached to it, you know, and there is not, you know, any reason why you should not be enjoying your singleness. I'm not saying don't enjoy it. Don't have fun with it. You know, um, don't look at it as a blessing or a gift from God, which it is. However, you know, I think, when you start to hold it on to it, clutching to it like a kid does a Snuggie or a teddy bear, I think that's when there's a little bit of a disconnect. There's a problem. I'm like, okay, singleness is a season. It's not supposed to be eternity, you know? So, like, why are you holding on to this, you know, when really you're not supposed to be, you know? It's only for a short season, Hopefully short, you know, and then you move on to the next phase in life, you know, which is it should be marriage after that. If that's what you're looking for, because every single we already know is not going to get married. Every single is not pursuing marriage. So, you know, that's not even on their mind. Further thing from their mind. But the one I'm talking to the ones who are pursuing marriage and this is their goal and they know that's what they want. Why are they running from it? You know, that's what I'm trying to understand. So I just want to know what it is. Like, gentlemen, tell me what it is. Ladies, what do you think? Like, is it a fear there? Or do they think that they're not good enough, you know, for the role of a husband? You know, is it like low self-esteem? Is there some insecurity there? Like, what what is it that is causing them to kind of shy away from pursuit? You know, especially when, you know, we join these Christian groups at church or, you know, these Christian Facebook groups or um, you know, any any site, it doesn't matter, it can be any site, it can be Twitter, it can be Instagram, whatever kind of, you know, Christian um, group that you're in, you know, to be amongst each other because, you know, you want to, as women, you know, we're supposed to be pursued and so we have to kind of um, put ourselves in a position to be pursued. So we're putting ourselves out there, you know, I'm putting myself in this group, you know, I'm around like-minded people, you know, so that I'm in a place where I can be found by my Boaz, my Adam, you know, whatever you want to call it, you know, and so what is the point of me doing that if, you know, he looks over me, <laughs> you know, he doesn't even realize I'm alive, so that's where I get annoyed, you know, it just gets really irritating. It seems like the only kind of guys who are pursuing us normally are like guys that we wouldn't or shouldn't want to be interested in you know the worldly guys you know the ones who really are not about anything they are not really fit for the title of a husband they're not really ready yet they think they're ready but they're not or some of them know they're not ready but they still will pursue because what man doesn't want the company of a woman right so they're still going to go ahead and pursue you know so it seems like those are the only kind of men who are, you know, they they're have the guts enough, the moxie enough to go ahead and pursue you, <laughs> you know. And it's always disappointing. So <laughs> when you discover he doesn't have it, you know. So what, I, what am I saying today? You know, kingdom man, we need you to step up. Step up, take your rightful place. Start pursuing us, you know. Stop tricking us here, you know. <laughs> Stop making us wait because we're becoming impatient, you know, with all the games that you're playing. Like, we don't know what this is. I need you to get us together, whatever it is, you know, because it's not cool. Okay? It's not cool. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to drop in here and just discuss that right quick. You know, it was just on my mind. You know, I'm curious to see what you all think. Drop your comments below. 
<laughs> let me know what's going on, you know, tell me what's on your mind. You know, men, I would like an explanation. <laughs> that would be good. So let me know. Let me know. But that's all I have for you guys today. I just want to come in here and talk about that. I want to rant a little bit. Excuse me, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. And if you like my shirt, which says I'm a queen on Kingdom Business, if you like my shirt, you can get it from my store. If I can lift it up so you can actually see the graphic there. Yeah. If you like my shirt. You can buy it from my store, Lisa Renee Boutique, and I'll drop the link for you below. So you definitely can go pick you up a shirt and some other cool items as well. And you can also pick up a copy of my latest novel, Long Way to Love, which is on sale and on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. So I will drop those links for you below in the more info box. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. It's been a pleasure being in front of you again. And I will be back soon. All right. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Bye.